What's going on guys, Hit Squad here again, back at it with another video. Before I get started, I do want to encourage everybody to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Join the family. I'm going to be talking about all Giants content, um, especially towards as the season gets uh, closer. We're going to be pumping out more videos. In this video, I wanted to speak on a, um, a comment uh, that David Deal, former New York Giant, we all know who he is, um, he came out and said that Daniel Jones' fumbling issues look to be corrected. Now, before anything, before anything, obviously, you got to wait until uh, the season starts to really see if he corrected that fumbling issue. Um, and that's the thing. With the fumbling issue, which we're going to get more into as this video goes on, uh, it's a very correctable issue. Very, very correctable issue. Now, Daniel Jones had 18 fumbles last year, which by any scale is a lot, a lot of fumbles. But when you really look at it, um, there's different factors into it, and not all of them were necessarily his fault. Yes, they were his fault, but not necessarily. Some of them uh, came from his blind side. Some of them came from him just not reading the pocket and his pocket awareness, which has to be improved. Um, overall, you know, just really looking at it, um, it's something that can be improved, but, um, you know, it's not uncommon, and I'm going to explain why. So, uh, you know, with uh, David Deal, he states that uh, Daniel Jones looks bigger, he's stronger, he's holding on to the ball a lot better. Um, they're doing certain drills, and um, in these drills, he's holding on to the ball a lot better, and he sees that improvement, which – that's very good to hear. You're hearing great things of Daniel Jones coming out of training camp. We know going into the season that he gained about nine pounds of muscle, which is great. He should be gaining that weight so that, you know, he could take um, he could take more hits. Obviously, you don't want him to take those kind of hits, but, you know, he'll be able to really take those, those beatings if he has to. And he can extend um, plays down the field as well uh, because his arm is getting stronger as, you know, from what we're hearing from our coaching. Now, um, I also want to throw out there that there are other quarterbacks that have had this issue. You look at Lamar Jackson, Lamar Jackson fumbled a lot in his rookie year. Um, I'll give you a perfect example. Russell Wilson. A lot of people said that wasn't a correct, uh, a correctable thing in his first two seasons. He had 29 fumbles. Carson Wentz fumbles the ball a lot. And we don't talk about this with, uh, Carson Wentz, but at the same time, like I said, it is a correctable issue. Now, just because Daniel Jones got bigger in size, which is great, that doesn't necessarily mean that that corrects his fumbling issues. There are different exercises that he can do that'll help him um, grip the ball a lot better, that'll help him be able to hold onto that ball when need be. Now, one thing that'll definitely help him is pocket awareness, which was his biggest issue, in my honest opinion, last year. Um, he needs to know when the play isn't there, throw the ball away, get down, do what you need to do. But not everything needs to be a 10, 15-yard pass. Check down if you have to. We saw Eli Manning do that consistently. Um, get on the ground, check down the ball to your running back, throw the ball out of, out of bounds, be safe with it. Um, and I think that's really uh, what the Giants are preaching is just being safe with the ball. And uh, he's looking good. Now, with David Deal saying that um, he looks to be improving, I would hope. I, I would hope that he is improving. If um, if we heard that he wasn't improving and he still looks like he is fumbling, we would. I would have a lot of concerns. Um, now, one thing that differs from uh, Carson Wentz compared to – I'm not Carson Wentz, excuse me. Oh, my God. Uh, one thing that differs from Daniel Jones uh, compared to these other quarterbacks like Carson Wentz, Russell Wilson, Lamar Jackson is Daniel Jones got to learn a whole new scheme. He got to learn a whole new playbook um, under Jason Garrett. And, yeah, that can, that can definitely um, alter his learning process for sure. He's learning three different playbooks within the last three years. Um, but – I just want to wait until we get into some live action football during the season, and then we can make those assumptions if he's um, really improved on this fumbling. I definitely do think, and I've been on record saying this, you guys can check my past videos, I do think that he will cut those fumbles in half, if not by more than half. Um, I think when you improve the offensive line um, and going into your second year, you can look at film, you can improve on the things you need to improve on. You can take that next step forward. Um, Daniel Jones is a smart kid. He's going to get it done. I have full confidence in Daniel Jones. So I'm liking what I hear from David Deal, but guys, we just got to be really patient and just see. Um, 
Now, when you look at the competition that we're going to be playing, and you look at some of the edge rushes that we're going to be facing, TJ Watt, Demarcus Lawrence twice a year, now Chase Young twice a year, just to name a couple, just to name a couple. Uh, and we got a brutal schedule this year. Um, you know, fumbling does kind of worry me a little bit, especially since we don't know how this offensive line is going to do. But if Daniel Jones can improve on his pocket presence and he can learn to it, you know, live to see another down and not necessarily wait five, six seconds in the pocket for something to open up and just, you know, check the ball down or throw it out. That'll definitely help Daniel Jones. Um, it'll protect him. Um, it'll protect the ball, which is extremely, extremely important in the game of football. But we really just have to wait and see. I like what I hear from David Deal. Again, guys, we just got to wait and uh, see how this translates into the actual games. Right now, it's just training camp. Yeah, we just had scrimmages, and uh, they're trying to base these practices on uh, what they're saying is going to be more in-game. Um, it's more of an in-game feeling. But at the same time, I need to see this translate um, onto the field in actual game time before I can make a proper assumption. But um, like I said, I like what I hear. You guys should like this as well. Uh, let me know what you guys think below. Uh, I want you guys to actually predict to me how many fumbles Daniel Jones is going to have in your opinion. I've been on record to saying I think he'll have eight to nine at the most. Um, I, I really do think that he will correct it. It's a correctable issue. Other quarterbacks in uh, uh, NFL history have corrected it. Carson Wentz is still kind of struggling with it. Yeah, we don't mention that. But that's besides the point. Anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think below. This is Brooklyn Hit Squad, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.